Hi everyone and welcome, John here. And today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own image downloader using Python. So we're gonna be using Python requests and beautiful soup, and we are going to be finding all the image tags and then saving all of the images that it finds to our computer. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is import requests and from BS4, we're going to import beautiful soup. And I'm also going to import the OS module because that's going to let us create folders and change directories, which we're going to need to do. So now that I've got those installed, uh, the OS one is in the standard Python library. If you need to pip install requests or beautiful soup, go ahead and do that. So this is the website we're going to be getting the images from. Everyone knows this website, it's Airbnb. Um, I've never been to Ljubljana before, but I'm sure it's really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and download the images that it lets us from these listings. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to go into each and every individual listing to get all the images. I'm just going to get the top, the first one that it gives us. So what we want to do to start with is uh, inspect element so we can start to see how it looks. So if I make that bigger so we can see, if we hover over the first image here, there is an image here, image class, blah, 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 and all this. But more specifically, the most important thing to us is it's actually inside this image tag. Now, images in HTML will always be inside these image tags, so we can actually just use find all with beautiful soup to get them all and start collecting the links that we want to then download. So now I can see that is in there. I'm just gonna double check the page source. It's always useful to do, and I'm going to just copy some part of the text so we can get to the, let's just copy, right, we'll search for under free parking, just so we can see that it's there and it looks like it is um, available. So we know that we can, we can get to it. So I'm gonna copy this URL, it's quite a long one. I'm just gonna put it in here. So we're gonna say URL is equal to this and just move that up and out of the way. The first part is to actually reach out to the server with requests and then get that information back. So as always, I like to do r is equal to uh, requests.get and then we give it our URL, which we have specified here. See these two right here. The next thing we want to do is we want to create our soup. So we can do soup is equal to uh, beautiful soup. And then we want r dot, um, we can do dot text in this case and we'll do html dot parser so beautiful soup is just the html parser in this case let's move that up one and now i'm just going to check that this is working like i always do and i'm just going to say print soup dot title dot text and run that and hopefully if we get something back that is right which we do we know that this is all going to work let's clear that off delete that we don't want that what we do want is we want to find all of the image tags so they're all like this in the HTML which means we can simply do images is equal to soup dot find all because we want it to return a list of every, every single one that it can find on the page and we want to do IMG like this what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to print out images and hopefully we get back a load of information there we go we do so we can see that we actually got a list and it's got all of this and we can actually see that the links are here inside it so we can see there but that's no good we just got the elements there what we'll do is we'll do a for loop so we'll do for image in images so each one of those um, elements that we just saw inside the uh, all of the images list that we created here I'm going to print image and then after that I'm going to do src in the square brackets with the um, quotation marks because if I come back here we can see the actual link to the image that I hover over on the right hand side is under this src the source equals and we can access the information that's just in this little tag here which is where the image URL is so to do that let's do that and then let's run that and hopefully scroll down and we've got a nice long list of image links that we could, if I just click on one, that didn't work. If I go to Chrome, copy and paste it in, we can see that is the image returned. That's not quite the images that I was hoping for from this, but you know, it's there and it works. So the next thing we wanna do is to save the image, 
But first, what I'm going to check out is I'm going to try and give it a better name than just the file name. So I'm going to go back over to our source code and I'm going to have a look. And quite often you get these alt tags here, which basically is the sort of the name for the image. So we can actually access that the same way that we did the source tag. This one, we can use this and the alt tag. Almost all websites will have an alt tag for their images. It's quite important for SEO. So they will be there that we can access. So let's close that down. So then let's get rid of our print statement here and say, uh, let's call this one link because that was the image link. And above that, I'm going to put name and I'm just going to say image and then the alt ALT tag like that. So now if I print name and link, we should get that information out as well. Okay, we can see it's all here. So the first one, this is obviously um, something else at the top of the page. It doesn't have an alt tag and it seems to be just a GIF file. Uh, we're just going to ignore that for now um, and that will be fine. But the rest of them are all there and working. To save the images, we can do with open. So we're going to be opening a file, writing to it and then saving it. And we need to give it a file name. This is why we've gone ahead and got the name from the image here. So we can call the, our file this name. We need to give it an extension. So I'm just going to do plus and then I'm going to give it a .jpg for an image extension. It doesn't matter if the original file isn't a JPEG file or if it's JPEG. Go ahead and try and save it as a JPEG first. Um, that's usually your best option. Most web files are JPEGs anyway, so that's a good start. And then we want to do WB because we want to write to it, but we want the bytes. We want to know the actual raw bits of the information that are in there. So that's why we need WB. And then as F and our colon. And then under here, we want to actually send out a request to the individual links that we can then get the information from them from the server. So we're going to want to do another request. So I've got R is equal to request dot get up here. So I'm actually just going to do IM for image. And then we're going to do requests dot get. And then we're going to say link. And then we want to do F dot write the IM that is res our response for the link for the image. And we want the dot content. The content is going to be the bytes content. So we can be able to save that using our write with our bytes file. Uh, and then save that to the disk. So I'm going to run this now and we'll see that it's going to go out and download all those images and it's going to save them into the, the current directory that we're, we're working in. Uh, we've got no output. So I've got an error here and that's because what I've tried to do is I've tried to write a name that is not an acceptable file name. Uh, so the best thing to do is I'm just going to go ahead and hit replace. and I'm going to replace all of the blank spaces with a dash. Now, hopefully what that will do is it will fill in all the blanks that are actually causing us issues um, and saving that uh, with a new file name. So that's looking like it's failed. All right, so that didn't work. So let's go ahead and replace the, I think it's probably the slash forward slashes and replace them with nothing. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. So we can see when I actually read this error the first time, I didn't take into account that it was the forward slashes that were causing the problem. I was just looking at the extra dots. So after we replaced that, it worked fine. So if I go ahead and open the folder, we can see we've actually got all these images here. So if I just open the uh, Reveal and Explorer, we can see that we've got them all and they're all saved. All of the thumb, all the images there for all of those. And they've all got their um, appropriate names as we save them. The duplicate ones are where we ran it the first time. I'm just running that bigger for you guys. So there we go. So that's worked. That's great. So there's a few things we can do to improve this, although this is uh, the basic sort of frame of what it is that will work. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to turn this into a function that we can then use for different websites, add a little bit of error handling in as well, um, and also create a new folder that we can say, say, hey, save all of the images from this, um, this page into this folder. Okay, so I'm going to actually just collapse some of this down now and I'm going to create our function. So DEF for defining our function and I'm just going to call this one uh, image down. And then inside this function, we're going to give it two, um, two things. So we're going to have URL and we're going to have folder. So when I say folder, I'm going to create a new folder with the name that we give it. So we need to indent this. Now to create a folder on Python, it's really simple. We use the OS module that we've imported 
and we would just do os dot mkdir make directory um, but we need to kind of do a little bit more than that first so we need to find out we need to get the current working directory first and then we need to create one inside that because if we just did this it probably wouldn't be in the right place so we want it to be in this folder but a new directory so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say we're going to do make a directory but what we want to do is we want to join the current working directory and the folder name that we give it so i'm going to say os.path dot join and there we're going to join the two together so when we do os.path.join it will automatically put in the forward slashes in the correct places for us and um, we're going to join the two of os. Um, i think it is get current working directory and folder so that looks a little bit sort of long and maybe quite a little bit convoluted but all we're doing is the main part is we're creating a directory what we're doing is we're creating the directory that is joining together the current directory we're in and the new folder name we give it okay so it's 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 just all on one line but it's, it should be quite straightforward what i'm going to do is i'm going to do try first um and then i'm just going to do a sort of real um basic error handling you shouldn't really do except pass but for this case i think it's fine because we we know what this is doing um, so I'm going to try creating the directory and if it fails instead of kicking us out of our program it's just going to move on okay so then we can do our r is equal to request.get and we can find all the image tags and then we can get the alt and the source for each one and then we can write them all to the file but what we haven't done is we haven't actually ch um, changed into our directory so I'm going to do that underneath that I'm going to do os chdir for terrain, uh, change directory but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste this back in because this is now created this directory the join so I'm going to go ahead and put that right in there because that's just going to go ahead and change into that directory that we created now we've done that I'm just going to add in a quick print statement down at the bottom uh, so I'm just going to say just so we can see it working oh, not like that print and I'm going to say writing and then we'll give it name okay so what we've done is we've turned our little basic script just into a function that we can reuse and we're going to give it a url and then a folder name so i'm going to comment this url out here i'm going to let's find another place let's go to um where else do you want to go let's go bratislava why not and select some random dates that we might be looking at going cool great so we've got a new link let's copy that and underneath here we're going to do image down for our function and if you remember we have to give it the url um, and this is hidden by me there we go and then we're going to give it the folder name of which i'm going to just call it Bratislava. why not i'm going to save that let's move it back over here and then going to run that and we'll get writing see we still get that blank one at the top but i think that's okay we we kind of understand what that is we could write that we could write some code out for that if we wanted to but i don't think we need to and let's go to our file browser and we can see we've got a new folder here created and all the images in and if i reveal an explorer we should have all those images right there so that was nice and easy um, I'll put this code in my GitHub. Uh, you guys can go ahead and take it and maybe change it a little bit, make it work for you. Um, but it's pretty simple. Uh, the only sort of complicated bits that you may or may not have seen is the OS module and changing directories and creating new folders just keeps it all tidy. Um, and you have to do a little bit of replace on the string of the name if you're using the alt tag. You don't have to use the alt tag. You can call it whatever you like. You could just call, you could do a loop and you could say, the first image you find is called image one and then all the way down just keep adding onto it if you like i just thought it was it was a nicer way to have the actual alt name of the image in there um, just makes it a bit better to, to sort of 
know where you're at and know what it is that you've actually got the image for but you could call it whatever you like so that'll do it for this one guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one thank you bye